Well, 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 welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. This is Sharon and my co-host. One L and Jamal. Fair use, fair use. Yeah, we, we, uh, YouTube getting a little tough out there now, mm-hmm. so we have to put up, um, our disclaimer. So, um, we and got, we got to. Before we get to the video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Do that for us. And now let's go to the video. Yeah, everybody. Um, tonight we got us got us a story from Washington D.C., Northwest Washington D.C., and it just shows the example of people out of control. Now, this video, we got a man, a sixty-four years old, sixty-four cancer survivor, cancer survivor. Well, he was at twelve one o'clock in the morning, shot by some teenagers. He wasn't shot. He was stomped well, to death. Was stomped to death by a two thirteen year old and a twelve year old. And they had some man with him. I I'm assuming it might have been the pimp. I don't the know. Pimp. Now my question is, what is a sixty four year old man doing in the alley, twelve one o'clock in the morning? Well, what's two thirteen year old and a twelve year old mm-hmm. doing in the alley at one o'clock in the morning? They was hooking, and he was the John. They were hooking and he was cooking. He was either looking for <laughs> boutte or cocaine. That's the only thing that happened in D.C. 12, 1 o'clock more or well, sex. Why would a 64-year-old <laughs> cancer survivor be up to no good? I mean, you'd have survived cancer? Surely he wasn't. He would have just a shortcut to his way home. Come on, Al. Come on. Make, what? Make it make sense. How, how you know no. it wasn't a shortcut? Uh-uh. They said he was on his way home? No. Now, let Listen here. I've been in D.C. Well, I've been in D.C. And I know at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, even though I didn't participate in none of this, I know good or well D.C., 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, only three things happen. What? Hooking? S- s- prostitution? Hooking drugs. and prostitution? That's I ain't finished. Hooking, prostitution, and drugs. And well, legs open. He was probably on his way home no. from being out with his buddies. No. No, ma'am. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. A 64 year old <laughs> cancer survivor? Surely he <laughs> wasn't up to no good. That, mean his, that don't mean his wood not working. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe so, but they don't give two 13 year olds and a 12 year old the right to beat a man to death. That's, that's true. Let's get I mean, to this video. Well, where huh? were their guardians? Where were their mm-hmm. parents? They in the sex trafficking ring. They don't got no parents. Hmm. Uh, and two 13-year-olds have been arrested in a brutal and deadly assault of a 64-year-old man. 64-year-old Reggie Brown was found beaten to death on Georgia Avenue in Northwest back in October. For months, his family has been asking why. Well, we just spoke with Brown's family in the last hour, and they tell us he was kind, quiet, mild, a polite person, and didn't bother anyone. Tonight, police say they have arrested two 13-year-old girls and a 12-year-old girl. All are charged with second now, murder. Police now, look at this old man's face before they show it. Who else giving him some some late at night? Ain't nobody giving him none late at night. Over. He had a, months, he had a buy it. Well... Come on out. But they still don't give people they, they, they don't the right. Don't give them the right. Don't give them the right. Well, you put yourself in that situation at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, what you think will happen? He, it's not the first time he walked home mm-hmm. at that time of the morning. How you know that? I'm sure it's not. Mm-hmm. Why Why else? Mm-hmm. He, he wouldn't be all out willy-nilly mm-hmm. at 1 o'clock in the morning uh, if 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 uh, that was his first time. That wasn't his first time. I, that's what I'm saying. He used to walk home with that time of day yeah. after you hang out with his friends. Yeah, I know what friends he's hanging out with. Oh, wow. <laughs> But my thing is, where were these guardians of these kids? Why were they out running the streets with some man? Because they were prostitutes. Where were their family? The, the pimp is the family. I know, but where were their family before the pimp? They, they ain't got them no more. The pimp is the man, family. He took over. I mean, this is a classic example of why you should have birth control pills. You land up having all these freaking babies and don't want to take care of them. See, that's what they did out on the plantation. The women dropped the load and they didn't have to take care of them. The men didn't have to take care of them. 
now they since they ain't no plantation no more, they still got slave masters ruling over them. Do you know the the slave patrol started in North Carolina first? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, and now you, the slave master carry a gun and a badge, and he will shoot you, and he'll still beat the hell out of you if you and try to whip you into submission when you get out of control. Allegedly, so, no. Uh, <laughs> Police officers don't beat you to death. I haven't been beat to death. Well, that's you. There are a lot of them that have been beat to death, shot to death, and everything else. We can't else. say all police do that. The, the majority of them do that. The majority of them do that. So the, the slave master carry gun and badge now. Yeah. Yeah. So so in, in essence, you're still on the plantation. Pretty much. And you ain't learned that 160 mm. years from slavery and you still got a slave master beating the hell out of you and killing you when at their distraction and nothing happens. Well, I believe we said all we had to say. Well, guess, guess, please, ladies, you are in control of this situation. If you would just stop taking your underwear off to anybody, anything, and having unprotected sex, this will stop. And if men stop going out looking for bootay 12, yeah. 1 o'clock in the morning. This will stop. So, I mean, all you have to do is just go and get some birth control. I'm going to say allegedly he was looking for bootay. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think he sure. was. But mm-hmm. anyway, the... It's too easy to get birth control. I mean, I've heard, I don't know, if I've never tried it myself, but you can go to the pharmacy at Walmart and Target and they sell birth control over the counter with no doctor's uh, prescription needed. I don't know, I, I hadn't tried it, I don't need it at my age, mm-hmm. but uh, they said it can be done. Mm-hmm. And, and the women can stop this. A, a woman mm-hmm. is in control mm-hmm. of that. Yes, it is. Well, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe. We can't make no sense of it. It is what it is. No, it can't, but the, the, all the black community have to do is, you know, go get you some birth control pills until you're ready and in a position where you can take care of the children and leave the drugs alone. Oh, it can't say woulda, coulda, shoulda. It happened. It, it, it happened, but you don't have to. There's a simple solution. To the, this major problem, you like to think there's a simple solution, it but is. everybody don't want to do the right thing. I know they don't want to do it, but there is a simple solution. No. Take birth control. There is a simple solution. All right, that's enough for uh, parenting counseling one hundred and one. What is it? <laughs> yes, is anybody it is. listening? Does anybody ain't care? Nobody trying to hear that? Huh? Hey, no, nobody want to do the right thing no more. They want to do wrong. But you can, if you get birth control pills, you can still do wrong. They ain't trying to get no birth control. I mean, it's just as easy as right. taking a pill in the morning. Or then, if, well, then go get the morning after pill. They ain't doing that either. You might as well start trying to give life lessons. Then why are they shocked when they get pregnant? <laughs> oh, I'm pregnant. Oh, what you think going to happen? I mean, that's one of the reasons why God implemented sex. To reproduce. I mean, you know, and then he gave it for pleasure for the marriage bed. Look, look, ain't nobody doing that no more, so you might as well cancel that out. So stop giving out uh, information? That look, Stop giving out the sex information, because ain't nobody listening to that no more. So I'm wasting my time? Mm-hmm. Yes, you are. So this going to keep going on? This going to keep going on. Out of control teenagers? Yep. Alright, it's Oh well. Then I guess I guess I done said everything I need to say. That and more. That and more. Okay, well, um here is your instructions. If you are new to my channel, go all the way down there and see that little thumbs up, click that thumbs up. Don't cost you nothing. Don't cost you that one. Simple, single, solitary. And now I, I know my channel is not for everybody. Everybody keep coming over to my. Are you not professional? No, I'm not we professional. Be, we're not trying to be. We got comedy with our channel. 
I didn't know if you if you want something professional, turn on the news. That's what a profession is. We we like to have a little fun. We like to you know have give you good information and get a little laugh every now and then when we can. So we're not for everybody. So you hit the if we're for you, hit the thumbs up. Then go over there where it says subscribe and click that. Then you no, know, there is a little bell beside that. Have you noticed that little bell? Click that and click all, and every time we drop a video, you'll know about it. And another, like TD Jake said, click off, log off, click that little button. Keep it moving. <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, and leave a comment. We, 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 you know, sometimes Meat Grinder is my favorite supporter. Now, Meat Grinder can get a little rough mm -hmm. if you if you leave an ugly comment. I don't know why he's like that, but mm -hmm. meat, meat Lover is my big supporter. Meat hey, lover, Meat Grinder. Meat Grinder. <laughs> Yeah, he's my big supporter. But anyway, that's all. Until next time. Come on now, uh, people, ladies, come on. Reel in these wild youngers running the streets. And I ain't going to say be blessed because you ain't blessed. But until next time. We out.